Reflector Reviews, Two Kids and a Guy. Welcome to Reflector Reviews. I'm Viewfinder. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to take a look at Generation 1 Transformers Headmaster, Chrome Dome, and his uh, Headmaster counterpart, uh, Styler. Uh, now, if you may recall that Chrome Dome uh, did not have a very big role in the American cartoon as he was uh, only in the three episodes that were uh, season four, uh, the Rebirth series. Uh, however, he did play a much more prominent role in the uh, Japanese uh, Transformers Headmasters series uh, that was only shown in Japan. First, we're going to take a look at uh, Chrome Dome's box. Um, I bought this Chrome Dome uh, used. It was actually used. I didn't, uh, I didn't have Chrome Dome uh, back in 1987 when I was growing up, unfortunately. Uh, but I was uh, lucky enough to pick up a used uh, you know, version of them here a few years back. Uh, came with the box. I was you know, excited about that. Um, it's hard to find uh, these guys with, with a nice box and, and all that. So um, I figured I got a, a pretty good score and a pretty good uh, deal. Uh, so let's take a look at the box. Um, I thought, you know, when I first got the box, I thought it um, you know, looked really, really good. Um, the corners and you know the, the shape of the box nice and crisp doesn't look like it's been crushed or really dented out too much um, it's got a nice window um, transform it's right there transformers chrome dome with styler uh, more than meets the eye uh, heroic Autobot great description um, the one thing I kind of started thinking you know maybe this might not be the original box no crap um, there's no uh, Autobot logo or Transformers logo on it anywhere that I that I could that I could find. Um, that was kind of one uh, one tip off to me. It was kind of too late by the time I realized it to to go back to the seller and, and, and kind of question it. But um, you know, as you look around the box, it's kind of, it's kind of bland. Um, not quite as colorful as, as I would think uh, as most Transformers boxes were. Um, it does have the uh, the choking hazard warning, so I mean that added some credibility to it for me. Um, and on the bottom, if you can see there, it says 1987, so you know that seems legit. Uh, but you know, there's just something about it that really seems a little bit off to me, and so I'm not sure if it's original. Um, I'd really like to know. So if anybody has any uh, information or details or anything, please leave it in the comments. Uh, tell me what you think. Tell me, you know, is this, is this legit? Nope. Yeah, you know, if you had Chrome Dome when you were growing up um, or have one now, you know, is this what your box looks like? Uh, do you notice anything that's, you know, do doesn't match up? I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, so that's the box. Um, other than that, it is a really, really, really nice box. Chrome Dome's uh, vehicle mode is really I th what you know. He's my that's my favorite mode between the the vehicle and robot mode. Um, I think he just looks really cool, uh, like a really uh, fast, uh, uh, dangerous car with uh, you know with with the lasers on top. Just really slick, nice lines. Uh, I think it just looks really good. Um, he uh, doesn't roll all, all that well. I don't know if that's just my version or if that's how it always was. I mean, the wheels all turn real well, but he more kind of just slides across, <laughs> slides across the table. Um, that's kind of uh, my only, or actually one, one of two complaints I have. Um, but if you take a, a close look uh, here at the details on the sides, uh, real nice details here along the uh, along the door. Um, something that really really pops out to me here is uh, is the wheels, uh, the detail on the wheels. That the, the tire treads look really cool. Uh, plus the uh, the hubcaps are that kind of bronze, uh, shiny bronze metal. I think that really adds uh, to the look of Chrome Dome here in vehicle mode and kind of goes along with that uh, cream and brown uh, color scheme, which uh, 
I kind of wonder why they went with cream and brown uh, for him, but uh, but they did. It's okay. I think it works okay, especially with the red uh, added in there. Um, as we move along to the front, um, looks really good coming at you, you know, head on. The laser's pointing at you. You got the uh, the engine kind of sticking up here. Um, really pretty nice detail here with these decals with the headlights. Um, just looks really good. Uh, the left side of the vehicle, you know, same as the right side. I uh, do have one little uh, messed up part here. The door doesn't quite stay down, but, um, but that, that's just the way it is. Um, the other, uh, the other uh, complaint I do have about vehicle mode is in the back. Um, you know, with the, with the nice detail and the good looks all around the, the, the sides and the front, I'm a I was a little disappointed to see, you know, the kind of this big gap right in the back. Um, I wish they would have been able to, to close that up a little bit. I think it would have looked a whole lot better and just kind of completed the whole look overall. Uh, but for the most part, you're usually not looking at him from behind anyways. Um, he's usually sitting here looking nice uh, and you don't really notice it. But uh, it would have been nice if they could have fixed that or at least closed that up. Uh, one other, one other uh, nice, really nice added touch uh, that they added with these headmasters is the ability for the headmaster counterpart, in this case his name's Styler, um, to ride in the vehicle when they are in vehicle mode, which is really cool. So if we remove the, uh, the lasers over here, um, we can uh, take a look at Chrome Dome, and the, uh, the cockpit opens up. It's really nice. Opens up. In here we got uh, Styler. He's driving the car. Cool guy. Check him out. He gets on out here. He's like, "Hey, what's up?" Yo. And uh, he's he's wondering why why is he brown and and uh, cream also? Because because Styler's of course chrome. Uh, he's kind of gray, but he's supposed to be chrome and uh, red. But oh, sorry. Why don't you just sit there? Anyways, uh, pretty good uh, vehicle mode. I really, I really, really like it. I like the ability that uh, that they put in there for the headmaster uh, to ride inside and drive the car. And um, yeah, just really, really, really nice vehicle mode. We're going to compare uh, Chrome Dome to some of the other G1 toys. Uh, we're going to start with a few Decepticons, the first being uh, Cyclonus. Uh, Cyclonus looks really nice uh, next to Chrome Dome. Uh, they both were from, I guess Cyclonus showed up in season, or the, the, the movie and then uh, season three and four. Um, so they're both more the kind of futuristic looking uh, alt modes. Next we have uh, Soundwave and his cassette uh, player. Uh, alt mode uh, sitting there next to Chrome Dome. Uh, of course, there's a little bit of scale issue there with Soundwave uh, being a cassette recorder. He should really be uh, significantly smaller, but uh, that's really what uh, the kind of problem that you'd run into uh, with these toys. Uh, really, no way around that if you wanted to have a, a, a toy big enough to play with, of course. Uh, so they still look really nice together, though. Next, we'll talk. Uh, take a look at the uh, some Autobots. Uh, first up is Skids, looking pretty good. And now we have Blur, Blur looks great. And then Beachcomber. Really like Beachcomber. I just always like that little dune buggy style. And finally, uh, we have the uh, leader, Optimus Prime, in semi-truck mode. Uh, this is the uh, Walmart reissue from a couple years ago, I believe. And there you have it. Chrome Dome's transformation is really rather quite simple. Uh, most G1 Transformers transformations were pretty simple, actually. Uh, However, Chrome Domes is even more simple than most, I believe. Uh, we'll take a look here and I'll show you. Uh, the first steps here is we just take off these lasers off the top, set them off to the side here next to Styler. Thank you. And uh, really the, the big major step here 
is just the first step. You just rotate out here, basically the whole top of the car body, rotate that all the way around, and uh, basically then that gives you your uh, robot shape here taking form. Uh, rotate out the feet, that way then we can stand them up here. Take the doors, which uh, used to be the doors now, I guess, they're going to become his arms. Rotate those down. And then, really, the last step is flip the cockpit back behind him. And now we have our headless robot, Chrome Dome. Final step here, other than putting the lasers back on, is we take Styler, his headmaster buddy, and he transforms into Chrome Dome's head, which is kind of a cool gimmick. Uh, so, you know, with this toy, you got kind of two toys in one. You got uh, the, the main robot and, and vehicle, and we got uh, the little headmaster. Uh, his transformation is very simple. You just flip his legs up here like this, flip up his little uh, crown or whatever the heck that is uh, on his forehead, and he forms the head. And we can tell his name is Chrome Dome. That's where he gets his name due to the chrome color of his dome. And finally, it's got a few little some little slots up here. You pop that in. Maybe. There we go. And plugs right in there. And there we have Chrome Dome. Actually, we'll put his lasers back on. And he's done. Chrome Dome's robot mode is uh, actually really pretty nice. Um, I still like the vehicle mode uh, a decent amount better, but uh, he, he's got a nice uh, robot mode. He's nice and big. Um, he's got a real uh, nice sturdy feel to him, a pretty good weight, um, nice and stable on his feet. It's not going to tip over unless you really, really uh, bang into him. Um, it's got some good details on the, on the front, uh, across its front, uh, the decals are pretty nice, although there's not too many. Um, we rotate them around here, kind of see the side view. You can see he does have a rather large uh, <laughs> backpack here, uh, but that's really, uh, there's really no way around that uh, back in 1987, I think. Uh, so all in all, looking, looking pretty good. Um, again, the, 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 main, the main gimmick here is, the, is that he's a headmaster. Um, he does have some really nice detail on his head. We already kind of looked at that when we transformed Styler. But I do like the orange uh, kind of face mask and uh, the, the silver uh, head, chrome, chrome head. I think those really, uh, really looks nice. He's got the red eyes. Are they red? No, they're orange. They just look red here in the light. Um, but the other the other gimmick part of that is his chest piece opens up right here, um, and all these headmasters, when you would put their heads in, uh, would cause this little meter these meters here on the front to uh, to show kind of their their stats. Uh, for Chrome Dome, it's his speed, strength, and intelligence, and so uh, you can tell that he's. Uh, He's at the highest level of intelligence. If, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see there probably. There's uh, numbers. It's numbered there. 0, 5, and 10. Uh, looks like he's about a 9 or a 10 on uh, intelligence and uh, uh, probably a 5 or 6 on strength and speed. And so each headmaster had uh, different statistics uh, that would show up there uh, on their chests. And that was kind of cool to, to, to play around with or at least take a look at when it's... Uh, when you pop their, the head on there. I'll flip that back up here. Um, not a whole lot of articulation. Uh, you just get a little bit of articulation here in the feet. Uh, you can kind of make him stand on his tippy toes, but he won't really stay there. Uh, so that's kind of pointless, but you can do it if you want. Um, the only other part of articulation that, uh, that he has is his arms rotate all the way up, actually all the way around. Um, uh, so he can, you know, he can point his lasers at his enemies and or friends, I guess, if he wanted to, if he's if he's like that. But uh, you know, that's really all you can do. Uh, his head doesn't turn or anything. 
Uh, the legs don't really move. There's no knee bending or anything like that. Um, can you make them sit down? No, you can't really even do that. So um, that's really all you have there with the articulation for Chrome Dome. Uh, all in all, pretty nice robot mode, like I said. Uh, uh, I guess the, the main feature that I would that I would uh, that jumps out at me in robot mode is just his size he's really nice and big um, you feel like you got a pretty you know pretty hefty toy with him so uh, pretty good I, I like it now we're gonna compare uh, Chrome Dome's robot mode uh, to the robot modes of the other G1 toys that we looked at a little while earlier First up are the Decepticons with Cyclonus. You can see, like I said, Chrome Dome is a nice, uh, a big figure. Um, he's, he's a good size. He's going to be bigger than most of, uh, actually, I think he's bigger than all of these, uh, these six that we took a look at. So uh, there's Cyclonus. Next we have Soundwave. Pretty good, but he's still a decent amount taller than Soundwave. And then we'll move on to the Autobots with Skids, and as we know, Skids is going to be really, really small uh, compared to Chrome Dome, as we saw in their vehicle modes. Okay. And now we have Blur. Here's Blur. He looks good. Beachcomber is next, just a little guy. That makes sense. Maybe a little off scale, but Beachcomber was uh, was one of the mini bots. And finally, we have Optimus Prime, and he's a decent amount smaller than Chrome Dome as well, even though he's Optimus Prime. All in all, though, he's uh, nice comparisons. Looks good next to those other guys. I don't want you to just take my word for it and my opinion on what I think about Chrome Dome. Uh, that's why we like to get the opinions of the other members of Reflector Reviews here as well. Uh, first up, we have Spyglass, and we're going to hear what he thinks about Chrome Dome. Go ahead, Spyglass. Hey guys, this is Spyglass. Um, overall, I think that Hasbro did a really nice job designing Generation 1 Chrome Dome. Um, they gave him a simple and smooth uh, transformation process. They um, included Styler, which doubles as a head and a driver for him in vehicle mode. But um, yeah, I mean overall, really nice, really solid figure, or figures I should say. And I uh, highly recommend picking them up if you can find them. Okay, thank you Spyglass, very good. Uh, next up we have Spectro, we're going to hear what she has to say. Alright Spectro, take it away. Hi, hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, some things I like about Chrome Dome are his colors, I think they all go pretty well together. Um, I really like all the details they put into Chrome Dome, I think that's really cool. Um, I like how Styler can just fit right inside of Chrome Dome. It's good for storage as well. Um, and I like how in his chest you can open it up and you can see his stats, which I think is really cool. Thank you, Spectro. Very well. Appreciate that, guys. Thanks so much. All in all, Chrome Dome is a really nice figure. I'm really happy with him. Uh, looks really nice in uh, vehicle mode. Uh, looks really good in uh, robot mode as well. Nice and big. Um, also has a lot of uh, you know that added playability uh, with the inclusion of Styler as the as the head master. He can be be the head in robot mode and uh, can sit there in the cockpit and drive uh, Chrome Dome when he's in vehicle mode. Uh, just a really really nice figure. Um, Appreciate uh, you watching. Uh, we pray that you will hit the subscribe button, uh, cr crunch on those likes. Uh, you know, we got to get up to that sixth subscriber. What else are we going to do? We need your help. Appreciate it all. This is Viewfinder signing off.